Hi, I would like to show you how to make connectors. So this section here has different elements of our antique brass bindings and using our hole punch plier, I'm going to create connectors with these and then attach with jump rings. So there's two ways you can do this. One um, is just eyeballing punching the hole, which I'm gonna do here with our 1.5 millimeter hole punch plier. So this finding here, you can see there's one hole here at the top already. And by taking this, I'm just going to pretend like I'm up near that hole and slide it down. So I'm kind of in line with that. And then look here, make sure I'm not too close to the edge. And then you're just gonna squeeze your pliers and that's gonna add a hole to the component. And then you're gonna open that and kind of wiggle it out. So now I have a hole on both sides, which can be a connector. And then for this little guy, I'm actually going to use a ruler to help guide where the line would be. So if you're not comfortable with um, eyeballing that, you could do this for both. And with that, I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker. This is just a fine tip Sharpie. And with the ruler, I'm just going to line this up so it's kind of, and this is an organic shape, so it's not completely straight, this component, but this just helps you um, determine where the hole would be. So I'm just going to go directly across here and make a mark. So I have a little mark here on the part. And then with the pliers, I'm going to line that up on the hole and squeeze, and then again, just gently release it. So then you have this fun little connector too. And then for connecting, I'm gonna use two pairs of chain nose and my jump rings. So we're gonna open that using a back and forth motion to open your jump ring. And here I'm just gonna add one to the end that would connect to that part. And then I have this larger um, gold jump ring. It's a decorative ring with a detailed pattern on it. Go ahead and slide that through. And then through one of the holes that I added to this dapped circle. And go ahead and close up your ring. So now you have these two components connected here together. And then I'm going to use our five millimeter jump ring again in natural brass to connect this component to this organic ring. I love mixing metals, so here you'll see there's antique brass and gold components in this necklace. So this is one section of this kind of decorative chain for the necklace by using this technique for creating connectors.